you know, as you're describing what you do with some of these thoughts, some things you let go, like the, someone said, uh, you know, a lot of trains come into the station. You don't need to get on all of them. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. You know, so you, can, you have the freedom to let yeah. things just I'm pass right. by. And, yeah. and that's some of what happens in prayer. Other things you sort of notice, why does that train keep coming back over and over yeah. again? Okay, well, maybe there's something that needs to be brought into relationship with God. Uh, yeah. And, you know, and then you can sort of stimulate some of that with things like the rosary or scripture or, you know, different mysteries of our faith. Yeah. And that can help to bring some things up. And, and then all of that in the process of just bringing your whole life into relationship with God who is love. Okay, here's a question. This is like, <laughs> you might be going to field here, but you mentioned the rosary. And here's, I was driving the other day. I was in the car with some guys and somebody said, let's pray the rosary. So we're praying the rosary. And it struck me that I'm never sure when I pray the rosary whether I'm supposed to be paying attention to the <laughs> words or to the mystery. So there's this mystery that's presented to meditate on in the life of Christ. But the rosary seems strange to me in that if I'm saying words, I kind of want to be attentive to the words I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But then I've got this mystery presented yeah. to my mind or my imagination that I want to turn to, but then I'm saying the words. I could be saying the, the words to a toothpaste commercial because I'm not paying attention to them. I'm focusing on this mystery. I realize it's sort of a particular type of prayer, like sort of vocal prayer, but what is there any, what are you aware of in that, either in the literature or the tradition sure, or sure. about this, like the way to pray the rosary? Yeah, well, I love, the, yeah, I love the way that you presented that. Yeah. It's, it's so concrete. And I don't know, maybe it's particularly challenging for, we're obviously people who like really get into words yeah. and the words are really yeah, rich yeah, yeah. and we're like putting words together. You know, this is yeah. part of who we are. So to just have throwaway words, yeah. <laughs> which they're, they're not, I mean, they, it is the angelic salutation, right? I mean, right. That's what I, the words I mean, of the right. angels. Right. The words of themselves. Yeah. Exactly. But when yeah. you say them, as you just pointed out, yeah. when you say the same words over and over yeah. again, they start to, to disintegrate. disintegrate. Yeah, all. So, uh, so I think, um, you know, and we do this, uh, of course, my, uh, well, the, the rosary is uh, 700 years older than St. Benedict. Right. <laughs> so right. That's why I don't wear one. Um, but <laughs> our, our devotion, especially as Benedictines, our devotion and our work is the divine office, the liturgy of the hours. And so we're like swimming in the Psalms. Yes. And, and now I have the blessing of praying the, the office in mm. community. I mean, we have whatever... 50, 100 monks who are chanting, reciting the Psalms, and we mm. get to listen and to speak. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and so there's a lot of that kind of stuff that's going on. I can recite a lot of the Psalms from, from memory, mm. and yet, like, how much do I pay attention to them when I'm actually yeah, reciting right. them? Right. And in fact, I'm at the point now, 25 years into monastic life, I can participate in the entire office, not miss a word, and like do math problems. Yeah, I'm playing out no, my right. day. I'm like buying airplane right, tickets right. in my head. You know, I'm like yes. solving whatever, <laughs> writing books. I'm doing all of this other stuff. Now, I'm not advocating yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> hypothetically, you. <laughs> so these are the places I'll find myself yeah, in right. suddenly. Like, where am I? You know. <laughs> oh, morning prayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. That's so good to hear, though. Just that I think people would would look at you and think. It's all divine illumination. Just every moment is. And I mean, I'm like yeah. on pitch, on, you know, I am lined <laughs> up point, with everybody yeah. else in choir. Yes. I am not missing a word. Yes. And I haven't thought about anything from the, the last outside. 10 minutes, yeah, right. 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 So, so there, there is also a value in that, that some of these kinds of words, so mm. holy words, and I don't think any of us would say the Hail Mary without it having a maternal texture to it, if yeah. I can say it that way. We're in the studio. You know, I can't miss it uh, with a green. Anyway, the uh, it's going to be black. There's, a, there's a kind of. <laughs> I'm not going to see it. It's gonna, this is going to be so confusing. I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care it's green what guys. color it is for them. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but right, exactly. Yeah. Whatever we can just map whatever texture on. Yes. But but I think genuinely for us that who are not robots and these words yeah, yeah. aren't meaningless. Yeah. And even if I'm not paying attention to. Hail Mary, full of grace, and doing the Greek, Greek in my head, Kyrie, mm. Kekari, Tomine, you know, like, mm -hmm. even if I'm not doing that at a particular moment, it never loses its Marian texture, yeah, and it keeps yeah, building yeah. that, because I'm aware that 
I'm holding her hand when I have the rosary. I'm meditating on her mysteries. Mm. And even just little touch points that grow steadily the mm. 50th time, the 100th time, the 1,000th time I've said a rosary, those textures build. Yes. And, and like the, you know, the background of whatever color, you know, we, it becomes it, its background, but it's a particular kind of background. Yeah, right. And, right. and so that yeah. matters. So sometimes yeah. I just want to feel the texture, you know? Sometimes yeah, I might right. just want to look at the, right. the background and, and spend time with that and feel that and rest mm. in her arms. And, and just saying the Hail Marys is kind of where I, where I am. Yeah. Sometimes I might want to really study the background and think like that hail full of grace, like yeah. grace and grace yeah. sticks. And I'm sort of in that place. And and sometimes it's just that maternal background and I'm really into the mystery mm. and the mystery. How do, I, how do I enter into the mystery? And, you know, the teachings of John Paul, his, yeah. his like letter on the rosary, yeah. Rosarium Virginis Maria, is just so beautiful. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, an image, sometimes we can insert a little versicle in there. Right, right. Hail f- Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Uh, who suffered on the, who died on the cross for us, Holy Mary, Mother of God. Right, right, right. You know, so sometimes those little insertions. So a lot of different ways that we can kind of engage at different mm. times with different aspects of the rosary. And, but ultimately the same kind of thing should be happening that I want to bring my whole life into relationship with this and what's mm. coming up in my life. Where do I need to be held in this moment? Where do I need to intercede? You know, there's something about just saying a rosary. I, I think of this, you know, again, in IFS language, like I have an achiever part and it wants to get something done and that's mm-hmm. fine. And it wants to do it in the right way. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's fine. And that's a good thing to do. You know, we, we have that in, I mean, sometimes like you go and get the trash or you take out the trash for your, li- your wife as like a profound act of love, really intentionally with affection. Yeah. Sometimes you just get the thing done. I got to do it. It's yeah. spilling out of the can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. both matter. Yep. You know, neither yeah. of them is worthless. Yep. But anyway, we can be in different places when we, right. when we offer these prayers as well, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting because with the rosary, when I think about the mysteries, is they even make books. Right, like I think of all the various scriptural rosary mm-hmm. books mm-hmm. that show like the very word-driven people, like you're describing all of us as word-driven. Like if you really want words, alternate this with the Hail Mary. Like read part of the scripture, then read the Hail Mary. Because if you if you don't want to get pulled in two directions, like this is what we have. But I find it so easy because when you're bringing intentions, it's so easy for me for my rosary to just turn into the intentions I have in mind. Yeah. And not even like, the mysteries, right? You you, you can take us so you place. But I love the idea of the maternal texture because we were talking about that. The image that came to mind for me is when I'm putting my kids to bed. I'm sure mm. you can think of this, which is, I say the same thing to my son every single night. He's four yeah, years old. Beautiful. And I kiss him on the head and I say, I love you, Bobby, forever, no matter what. God bless you, sweet dreams. I'll see you first thing in the morning. Yeah. And I don't even think of that phrase. Like, yeah. I, the, that exact series of words comes out and I kiss him on the head. And it, it is just what it is. But more often than not, I'm just thinking some, I just have kind of a deeply loving paternal sense of, I'm kissing my son, I'm kissing the night. paternal texture. Yeah, paternal sort of texture. It, yeah. And I hope he yeah, actually yeah. stays in his bed and doesn't come out in 10 minutes. Right. Yeah, you're like, better dead than I am. Go to sleep, so help me God, if I see your face come out of that room. <laughs> oh, no. One more time. Yeah. So if your children aren't watching this. <laughs> but I mean, I just think it's, it, it, but I mean, it is interesting, but that, that, that texture, I think, is so much of our actual yeah. relationships. Yeah. Where I feel like, I, you know, this probably happens to you, this makes me sound less good, but when I'm walking out the door, I like yell into the door as I'm walking out, love you, as I slam the door behind me to go to the car. <laughs> and I like, I mean it, but it's not like it's deeply yeah. reflective. Yeah. But I like the idea of like back, that a background matters even yeah. if it's yeah, yeah. backgrounds That's um right. they allow certain things to pop more or less right 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 like and so even if you're not paying attention deeply to the background it does do something to the foreground it has a relationship mm. to the foreground and so the words of the hail mary the, that that maternal background is going to do something even if i'm thinking about the mystery it's going to have a certain um, impact right, right if i'm not even if i'm not staring right at it I wonder if that looks what, staring into the void. When I look into, does it look like I'm staring into, who knows what it looks like. Um, and even, you know, if you're going to draw fire. Yes. Right, against what background? Yes. You know, and that's, that's some of the, the canvas of some of these prayers. The, the divine office yeah. can be a kind of canvas for drawing fire with our personal prayer. You know, and you have to be a regular Mary. guest. You ju- I mean, you've got it. You've just got it. <laughs> you just got it. You've got it. You have to be a regular. Now. 